Hi, hi there, everyone. Um, my name is Justin Bannon, and I'm a CEO and co-founder of Boson Protocol. Um, so I'm I'm here to yeah to talk to you about uh, Boson Protocol. Let's see, uh, great. So yeah, we're here to talk to you about uh, Boson Protocol um, and how we we enable smart contracts to connect with real world commerce, um, and specifically uh, for for this event talking about how we enable um, digital and physical art, so physical twins of, of uh, NFT art, um, and also in-game uh, NFTs to be redeemed for real world items. Um, so as I said, my name is Justin Bannon. My background is um, I scaled uh, a digital voucher platform group from 50 million to a billion dollar revenue, and also um, kind of been a blockchain strategy consultant for a while. And my co-founder um, is a, a, a technologist uh, who actually taught me on a number of uh, courses in, in, in my blockchain masters, Gregor. Um, so what is, what is Boson Protocol? Um, well, it can be understood in, in, a, in a number of, of, of different ways, but um, uh, Trent, Trent McConaughey from Ocean describes um, us and a number of other, other projects as this sort of emerging pattern with NFTs as, as blood cells flowing through a circulatory system. Um, and so, you know, the circulatory system can be thought of as like an economy or a supply chain. So if, if, if for example, you take centrifuge, uh, centrifuge NFTs are like contract tokens flowing around this financial supply chain. And um, of course, you know, ocean protocol, um, are like the sort of data tokens in a data economy. Um, and so, so Boson Protocol represents real world items or things as NFTs flowing around a, a thing economy. Um, and one of our advisors, investors, Jamie Burke, you know, sees, sees, sees um, Boson Protocol is really the, you know, this foundational primitive uh, for decentralized commerce uh, upon which we, we, we will build this, this de-commerce stack. Um, so really, the, the the big problem that we we address is that smart contracts are, are, are disconnected from from real world commerce. Um, there is a you know a gap that is quite similar to the the trust gap between smart contracts and real world data sources. Uh, and so we're all familiar with this this sort of real world data oracle problem. But there's also a a, a similar real world asset problem, and 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 a lot of uh, a lot of people in 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 this in the sort of NFT gaming and art space are familiar familiar with this that um, exchanging purely digital assets is 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 you know pretty much you know supported, um, but when you need to transfer a physical asset, whether that's a, a, a physical art piece or um, you know a, a physical product or service from a from a virtual world or from a smart contract. Um, well, the smart contracts can't trust that those real world asset exchanges happen. So, um, yeah, as we're saying, the, the, the oracles enable that enable this this real world data to connect. Um, but uh, the, the elbows on protocol came along the that, you know, the previous solutions using, for example, arbitrated protocols. So um, first generation e-commerce protocols would use human arbitrators to manage this this exchange uh, but this ad adds so much cost and friction that it it sort of um you know defeats the purpose really of of, of eliminating intermediaries in the first place um, so what boson protocol does is enables the physical you know we, we, we're going to cover two areas um the physical delivery of nftr and also um the delivery of of, of in-game uh NFT is redeemable for real world items. And so our technology enables this sort of digital to physical redemption. Um, so just, you know, drawing some highlights on, on in terms of crypto art, as we all know in this space is massive demand uh, and, it, and it's growing um, for digital art, but also for physicals. Um, and, 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 and we see that, um, you, you know, with, very much in the press recently. However, you know, trust is, trust is a challenge, particularly for lesser known artists who, you know, perhaps don't have a trusted brand, etc. Um, 
And so enabling this trustless or trust minimized delivery of physical items uh, that accompanying a uh, digital NFT is, is, is a challenge. And that's where, that's where Boson protocol, protocol comes in. We are this trust minimized solution um, where we will take commitments from buyer and sellers and also a payment from the buyer. And we will ensure that, um, that either that transaction happens in the real world or the buyer gets their, their money back and also that there are strong incentives on the buyer and seller to go through with that transaction. Um, so, you know, what does, what does this mean for the, the, the NFT art space? Well, it means that, you know, we can increase these transactions uh, knowing that physical transactions are, are protected, you know, grows that conversion, uh, boost artist earnings uh, because we, we know we're empowering artists just to easily sell these physical counterparts. I'm really delighting customers as well. I mean, the, the customers in this space are crypto natives and they want and expect crypto native solutions. So, you know, we, we, our research has shown that, you know, people just love the fact that we've bridged the metaverse and the universe with this solution. Um, so just, you know, touching a little bit on the mechanics of the solution and there's some really kind of deep game theory behind it, which for those of you that are interested, we, 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 we can you know, go into, but, um, Essentially, that, that Boson enables this cost-minimized um, exchange. So we are a, a, a minimally extractive protocol, which means, yes, you know, we, 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 we take a fee, but it's a small fee on a huge number of transactions. It's not excessively transact, uh, extractive. And we minimize arbitration using game theory. Um, and we also minimize trust. So um, the protocol is, is, is provably secure end-to-end in terms of exchanging um, the physical item and the digital item and also reliable so the buyer um, can rely on the fact that either they will get the item or they'll or they will get their their money back um, and then you know on our development path is also this rich data sharing so deeply understanding the preferences of of of, of customers um, via an integration with uh, ocean protocol so in terms of the, the, the value flows for, for the MVP for NFT art marketplaces, um, so marketplaces can continue to mark up and earn their transaction fees. Um, that's you know, entirely supported by, by Boson protocol. Uh, Boson then handles this automated escrow. Uh, so it, it handles, it, it, it locks up deposits, locks up payment. And, in, and, and then distributes those according to the, to the game theory to, to ensure honest participation. Um, and so what this means is we have this, this trust minimized digital, digital to physical redemption. <clears throat> um, in addition to the, the models that we talked about previously as a decentralized protocol building out this, this um, an ecosystem, uh, we're, we're working with our early partners to actually build in the incentives into uh, Boson protocol in, in the form of, for example, network rewards um, for supply and demand mining. So if your marketplace or DAP brings supply and or demand to Boson protocol, then, um, you know, for crypto economically from within the protocol, um, there are there are rewards and those incentives are stronger, the early, you know, the earlier uh, that, you, that you join and the more um, the more supply and demand that you that you deliver um, we also have a boson ecosystem fund um, our model is actually a what we call it a d-commerce DAO looking to build a decentralized stack of of, um, of 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 components all working all working together um, and so we're also funding innovative ideas and integrations with partners a, a, across the space um, and then also yeah uh, some data marketplaces um, we, we will be delivering later in the year this, the, you know, the ability to understand and segment uh, your, your, your customers and understand their, their, their preferences, et cetera. Um, in terms of, of, of technology, and I'm not going to go too deep into that, the, the tech here, we, we, we leverage um, you know, ERC 721s and um, 1155 standards. Um, so, so, you know, standards that everyone's going to be familiar with. Um, and then we, we offer a number of, of, of integrations uh, formats via sort of proxy interfaces. Uh, we also have a reference app that can either leverage, be used for the redemption or be, or be built into your own sort of 
uh, proprietary technology um, and, and can also compose with other dApps and, and, and Boso, Boson dApps. Um, so yeah, I mean, Boson is, a, is this sort of decentralized protocol uh, for tokenizing products and services into NFTs. And we are, and we're building also on, on uh, Ethereum as the base layer. Um, I'm going to skip over the kind of integration sequence uh, diagrams, but um, as I said, you know, we're, we're, we're working with a number of, of, of partners. And so we've got quite a, a variety of different formats for that uh, integration. Um, but but here's the sort of transaction flow for the happy path and this you know the happy path is is actually the you know of course the simplest but essentially what happens is that a buyer um, a seller decides okay I'm going to offer this piece of physical art um, and the buyer will review that that offer and decide okay um, I'm going to make a commitment that I'm going to actually purchase that and so what happens is the 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 NFT uh, will then lock up the, a commitment deposit from the seller, <clears throat> a commitment deposit from the buyer, and also a payment amount from the buyer. Um, and then as the transaction proceeds, when the buyer receives the item, um, and we'll, we'll get into the methods of receipt in, in a moment, um, they will sign a redemption transaction uh, in tandem with the physical transfer occurring. Uh, all being well, uh, payment deposits are returned and the seller is paid. Um, of course, if you know deviations from this from 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 this happy path result in um, in, in in deposit slashing on either side, which, which meets the the objective function of um, ensuring buyer and seller good behaviour. So, if we run through, I've just got some basic um, uh, UI here, where you know a seller can can add an item so you know they in a pretty familiar um flow here they add an artwork with a physical counterpart um, and some deposits uh on the other side the buyer will uh place a you know will, will go find that particular say piece of nft art and purchase it all using pretty standard um interfaces uh of, of course the the Slight complexity is that there are buyer um, and seller deposits here, but the the uh, UI represents them all very, very clearly what we're holding in escrow. Um, and then there are two fulfillment options. One is is a click and collect uh, where um, that the, the buyer can in person collect from 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 a depot or an outlet. So, for example, you know, this could be a pair of Nike sneakers from the Nike store, for example. Um, or uh, the buyer can choose to delegate trust to a, a courier um, where we, you know, we, we also support closing the loop with things like, such as a one-time password for additional security. Um, so that, that, that was uh, just looking at uh, the NFT art. In terms of in-game items, uh, so we enable, um, again, this sort of trustless digital to physical redemption. Um, so uh, players in game can now purchase a, uh, an NFT uh, for a physical item. Um, so, you know, in, in this case, the the, the, the buyer is, is is purchasing a a mask as a as a as a physical uh, item, and they will buy this in with a, exactly the same sort of flow as an NFT. Make a commitment to buy, and again, they can fulfill through click and collect courier. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the, the, exactly the same flow, in aim, enabling in-game um, NFTs for, for, for real-world items. Um, in terms of our, our launch roadmap, um, we, are, we, we are about to launch to, to, to mainnet uh, sort of at, the, at the end of March uh, with an April uh, launch of, a, of an NFT RM MVP fast followed by a gaming MVP um, with, a, with a lot of uh, accompanying sort of uh, PR. Um, we are, uh, we'll be announcing a lot of reference partners over the over the coming uh, weeks leading up to our, our, our public sale, which is um, uh, at the end of March. Um, and really, so, you know, if, if this is something of interest, we'd, we'd really love to, um, to speak to, to partners and, and, and co-create with you. And that's that. That's uh, the presentation. Any any questions?
Okay. So let's run through. Could I own a real physical painting as an NFT powered by Boson Protocol? Do I have then both the NFT and the physical painting? So if I understand the question correctly, could I own a real physical painting as an NFT? So, so Boson enable, the N our NFTs are functional. They enable the delivery of the, the redemption or, you know, the delivery um, of a physical item. Um, but we're also we we will also be enabling pairing between a digital art NFT and the physical. So you can hold the digital, and um, then Boson enables the, the physical, which which um, enables um, a, a tethering between uh, digital and phys physical, as if you like. Okay. Do you have any existing physical logistics partnerships? Um, so yeah, absolutely. We are we are uh, signing up with a number of global um, logistics providers. Um, the the way that 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 Boson Protocol works, we are like an ecosystem play. So we're we're, we're building like this what we call the e-commerce stack. So we our dispatch module will be the code will be open source. It will integrate with 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 the key global partners. Um, but it will also then enable others to, for example, take that code. And if you were in, in India and there were specific regional um, uh, dispatch partners that you wanted to bring online, then people can come take that code, integrate with local dispatch providers, and then also, um, you, you, you know, earn, a, uh, earn rewards and make a profit on, 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 on doing that. Can anything be turned to turn to NFTs powered by Boson Protocol, or are there limits? Well, yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a universal protocol. Uh, we happen to be be launching into NFT art and gaming because a it's it you know we our research has shown a huge amount of demand. It's a very hot space. Um, it's kind of you know crypto native, plus it's Web three, so we don't have to build fat um, uh, sort of applications. So it it, it makes sense. But absolutely, um, it's a universal protocol for representing any um, physical product or item, actually extendable to digital as well. But obviously, the hardest problem is this bridging of physical to digital. Uh, if I want to resell a physical art piece produced by a third party artist, do I have to create a digital version? Is that NFT then burnt? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you mean by digital version. You don't have to have a digital art NFT, but our mechanism um, for uh, kind of discovery, selling and redemption it creates an NFT, um, which is a stateful NFT with game theory embedded in it. Which is which is then used uh, to to enable digital to physical redemption. Uh, can anything be turned into NFTs powered by Boson or their limits? I think I covered that one. Um, are there longer term services plans to roll this out for services as well as goods? Understanding the escrow may be more difficult to manage. Um, no, the services is. From launch, I mean, it's it's it, it's e as easy, if not easier, for services. I also, in my previous life, built the kind of billion-dollar revenue uh, global market leader for services and and products delivered via digital vouchers. Um, so, yeah, no services come straight out of the box. Does it work both ways? Can we tokenize a material object and create physical representation of NFT? Bring us. I'm not entirely sure what that means and create physical uh, prints or, or either. I'm not entirely sure that one, but if you want to clarify, I'll try. Um, so, what prevents users from creating multiple physical representations? Of an NFT, or maybe it's not a bug, but a feature people are allowed to. Um, not entirely sure of that question, but um, 
yeah, you can create um, multiple, you know, where you can create multiple um, physical representations. That's entirely normal for you to have a, I don't know, bicycles or experiences where you've got, you know, a couple of hundred of those and uh, provided that one NFT redeems for one item, that's absolutely fine. We, 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 we support that. Uh, does it work both ways? Uh, how, how do you validate and authenticate of the real physical product and the NFT? Um, so there is a, a, there is a redemption mechanism where either the buyer can sign at point of redemption and that's kind of the click and collect model, uh, model, or there is a delegate that the buyer can decide, delegate their signing to a courier that they trust with or without an addition, additional security, such as one time passwords that would close the loop. Um, yeah. Using Boson, could you imagine an NFT that's updating real world data live on the a NFT, say time, Instagram lights, gold scores, election results, live population number, etc. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we could imagine that um, there, you know, already what we're building is pretty complex and there's some pretty significant trade-offs between functionality, functional complexity and simplicity and, and, and efficiency. So we were always having to kind of balance those, those, those things. Um, but that certainly seems like a, a really interesting, uh, you know, kind of possible path subject to, to those complexity constraints. Okay. Any more questions? Ah, the best question I liked. Okay. Let me choose the best question. So could I own? So I think the best question um, is, can anything be turned to NFTs powered by Boson, Boson protocol? Yeah, I mean, we are pretty much a universal uh, protocol for uh, representing real world products and services as, as NFTs. And that person was uh, Marco Mida, CEO, CEO at Manimal OU, was the best question. Ah, I've got a, a couple more questions here as well. Does the protocol have a native token, please? Yes, the protocol has a native token, uh, which um, is un not uh, surprisingly called Boson. Um, and the purpose of, of Boson is, is yes, coordinating um, the ecosystem, accruing value for coordinating um, uh, commercial transactions and also uh, value from monetizing the data from those transactions and then recycling that within the ecosystem. Uh, let me just ask this one. Do you think of adding chips or NFC to the physical items? Um, again, yeah, we absolutely see that as part of the e-commerce stack that we are developing and, and um, have, have some uh, research streams that, that are looking to integrate with, with, with some of those. But um, our, our philosophy is not to um, replace a, you know, the, a kind of, centralized whales with a decentralized whales ours is, a, is an ecosystem play so we would look to partner and have an equitable share of value with with specialist nfc um and, and provenance type uh, blockchains uh, solutions how is the art piece insured while being delivered that's a great question um so again i mean insurance is actually a super important part of what we're developing and we've got an entire 
um, work stream on 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 insurance. So um, I think in 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 a lot of um, blockchain systems moving forward forwards. Um, authentication and insurance are going to become these core services that are going to be rebundling and uh, you know recomposing um because a lot of that ins- management of risk and uh, authentication is handled by centralized intermediaries so um enabling sort of additional plug-in insurance to both you know to 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 the items for refunds and if in case anything goes wrong is absolutely part of the the, the e-commerce stack that that uh, we're developing, um, and also, of course, you know, for for smart contract transaction insurance uh, as well. So, really, really important part of this. Okay, thank you very much.